All right, good morning, y'all. We are here, Lone Star Throwdown 2024. Fairgrounds is loading up. It's about eight in the morning. We're here early. We'll find a little detail on the truck and we'll be good to go. We're shooting all day today, so. Sun's just coming up behind us here over the Gulf. Should be a gorgeous day. Can't wait for this. Apparently today is gonna to be unbelievable. No standing room. Oh wow. Everything is bigger in Texas, I'll tell you that. All right, let's get in the gate. Morning, everybody. Good, how are you? All right. There. Let's get this day rolling. A beautiful sunny day here. It is so warm. Absolutely love Texas. Should be good. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. We'll get a bunch of videos. We're going to have some full show coverage is coming out for each day for all three days separately. Gonna have some short term content or short long. We're gonna have some short form content as well as some long form videos coming out of the entire event for everybody to to watch and enjoy who couldn't make it to the event or anybody who is here and wants to see the vehicle. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe and let's see what happens. We're gonna head outside. Truck and everything looks good. It's all cleaned up. So we're gonna get outside here and have a little look see before it gets too crazy busy to get you guys some good quality content. <laughs> This is one of my favorites. It's so cool that it's here. is your iconic definition of mini trucking to me. This is my favorite era, it's the old school era. I love this thing. Great job.
telling you, coming from a province who thinks they know something about trucks, they don't have anything on taxes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Boss. It's mine, I got one picture. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? It's funny because there's a perfectly done white one right there. This one's so much cooler. I know, right? But it's just when you see the two in the juxtaposition, you're like, here's the original patina, and, we and then there's one that's got big bucks. Just put we it were back. fixing to build one like that, and yeah. after we seen that, we're like, fuck it, we're not building one, we're no, gonna no, build another one like this. this. Yeah, yeah, the luggage rack, the whole thing on the cameo, it just... And that's a one-owner truck before I started building it. Oh, man, this is gorgeous. Yeah, before we built it, yeah. I bought it. It was a one-owner truck. We debuted it here in 2021, and the yeah. first day we debuted it, CK Magazine put it on the front page. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah, it took us about two years to build it. To build it? It's got a 808 horsepower, 808 to the wheels, uh, supercharged LS9. It is ridiculous. Yeah, it's a sleeper. It's a very, it's very a sleeper. good sleeper. It's it a beautiful sleeper. sleeper. I can burn the tires at any speed at 70 miles an hour down the road. It'll, it'll smoke tires. Now, the only thing, where did you find the luggage rack? Because they're not common unless it's off of a Euro car, like an old Beetle or something, and chopped down. I'm going to tell you, but you can't tell everybody. And then the, the handles are the sweet patina uh, handles. But he only builds them for close friends or somebody like he's not gonna say he's not gonna advertise hey i build these racks because he don't want to have to build a thousand of them it looks original you never know it looks so good on these trucks on it he built, I saw he built it mine too. and his but we use it we actually put luggage up oh yeah yeah these that's the, the whole patina, point the sweet patina uh racks here these handles yeah but it's just it's worn in all the right spots mm -hmm. like the way he yep. welds he don't clean them up or nothing because no. we want the rusty look see and that's the thing guys that try to do patina wear out and sand in the wrong spots you're like well no nobody and rubbed this, up against this and so this truck was never it. patina this is original this paint. is all original this truck's never been painted yep i bought it from a one owner guy and it's never been painted it's amazing man i love this thing and that guy was telling me like this was my work truck that old man i bought it from this was my work truck did he have the lettering on the door still under anywhere no no, no lettering there was no the lettering for the no work, work truck? truck that's awesome no. yeah that's great See, little things like the luggage rack make it the just... Me, the, luggage rack, the luggage rack and the mirrors. Yeah. And these mirrors didn't come like this. I cut I cut a bunch of things down to make these to mirrors. Make them... I, actually built, I actually built all of this to make it. I just bought the vintage-looking mirror. Yep. And then, and then I built the gooseneck and bracket I took, down. Yeah, and I built all that to go with it. Yeah. But it looks perfect. It's period yeah, it correct. It works on this truck. Well, it does because any of this stuff back... It's just straight cut, industrial. That's all it was. It was a commercial use. When you... Uh, when you got an old luggage rack and big old mirrors like this, yeah. you would never think it's 800 horsepower under there. That's the best part. You're like, oh, the old man's going camping today. Like, yeah, he's going camping, but he'll whoop your ass from light to light. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Thank you, brother. Absolutely love it, man. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank love you. this thing. If you like C10s, you got to come to this show.
We didn't even get to this yesterday at all. It goes all the way over. We didn't even get a chance to even remotely come close to here. Jesus, fucking Christ. That thing's a monster. 